Okay, so my dear student, today I want to show you how to do the hybridization in ear long bean. But here, the ear long bean is I have some of the short variety. It is called dwarf ear long bean. So this is uh, I have some collection from Malaysian uh, uh, Research Institute, Mardi Malaysian Agriculture Research and Development Institute. So I have collected one variety from there and one variety from another private company and some other sources. So today I want to show you how to do the hybridization that means firstly starting through the emasculation. So emasculation meaning is that we have to remove the anther from the selected female parent. So after that we have to bag it. So suppose they are usually bloomed or open at the early morning. So before one day, so suppose tomorrow the flower will open. So one day before we have to do the emasculation and you have to bag it so for the bagging you can use the transparent bag but and also there are some pollination bag is available in the market or zipper lock bag the plastic on zipper lock that because of you have to protect the undesired pollination so you can see some so many insects so many butterflies so many other the honeybees they are commonly flying so they are visiting one flower to another flower so here you can see one butterfly is already flying so later i will show you so that you cannot keep open after the emasculation so you have to ensure proper bagging so now i want to show you this is this one on variety you can see some of the fruits so they are setting here this plant you can see there are some of the fruits are already set so later i will show some others so now i want to highlight only how to do that so the flower of your long bean or mung bean or whatever pea plants this all are pea plants leguminous but papilionaceous they usually clistogamous because they while they open that piece their pollination already confirmed this auto pollinated so for this i am telling you very clearly you have to do the emasculation before opening the flower that means on day before so the flower supposed to be open tomorrow bloom tomorrow morning so today morning you have to do the emasculation you have to bag so next morning you have to come you have to bring the pollen from the desired male parent for the pollination that is hybridization and after that you have to bag again so after two to three days you can come and you can open carefully the bag if you see the small fruit is already set so that in that case you can remove open the, the remove the bag but you have to maintain the tagging so now i want to show how to do the hybrid so actually you can see this flower is, is still not open yet so before opening so by force by using the needles so you have to open like this okay so you have to open like this so be careful so they are papillionaceous flower and also clistogamous already described so two petals is attached all together so this is called papillus papillionaceous flower then inside another two so very carefully you have to do or you can you can cut that on using the scissor so you have to very use the sharp scissor to remove the pollen the papillionaceous pollen sorry papillionaceous petals so you have to remove very carefully okay so after that you can see this another pollen the covering the nine plus one anther and the stigma so they have the special characteristics they have nine plus one anther nine is all together and one is separated so the way i am showing you Okay, so better to use the sharp needle. So using the needle, so you have to remove the rest of the petals. So while removing the petals, so you have to be very careful. You should not damage the stigma. Okay, so very carefully. So already they have formed the pollen. So I can show you. They have nine. So this all together, huh? this anther, you can see, they are totally separated from other nine. So, very carefully you have to remove one by one the anther, but you should not damage the stigma. Very carefully remove, very carefully remove the anther, all anther. Okay, okay, one by one. Okay, so you can see all anther I have already removed. So now, only the stigma that the lobe at the top of the stigma. The looks like green color but all others looks at whitish so and they are sticky so this is the stigma so 
this is the already I have completed the emasculation. So after emasculation, you have to bag using your the breeding bag or paper bag or whatever bag you have available. So that case, then tomorrow morning. So today morning I am doing that the emasculation. So tomorrow morning you have to collect the pollen from your desired parent, desired male parent. So you have to do the pollination. You have to bring the pollen and you have to touch on the stigma. So after that you have to bag again. After another two or three days, so you can come and check whether very small fruit is already set. So then you can remove the bag, but you have to maintain the tagging because you, all the information, the parent, the female parent, female parent, the date of emasculation, date of pollination, then the parent number, the male and parent number of this, this is the entire process of uh, emasculation. And another thing is the control say pollination that you have to maintain the parental line that I am doing. So in that case also, you have to do the bagging, no need emasculation but bagging to confirm the purity of the parental line. So in this, the same way, you have to, before opening, you have to bag and you have to maintain until until the fruit setting. So by this way, you have to maintain the parental line that I am a small project. So I am showing you now, this is my small project, there are some different varieties. So you can see the very nicely sweated the fruit. Okay, so I, I want to show you this is on, on this is a very nice fruit, eh? so very long, so very satisfactory fruit setting. So there are so many other plants I am trying to show you. So this is some of, of my variety, so you can you can see how, and here also, so this variety is different. So you can see the open flower. This is the papillonus, is the characteristics of papillonaceous flower. So that means they often, that means they have confirmed the pollination already. So... In case of Kilistrogamas, you have to ensure that there is no chance of hybridization when the pipa, the flower is already bloomed. So before blooming, you have to ensure all that. So this is my small project. There are some of uh, my uh, the okra, lettuce finger, some uh, different variety, about 11 variety I have here. Then you have the, uh, uh, the brinjal, that means the eggplant. I have some chili. So I am maintaining this project using the fertigation system so if I want to show you the fertigation system I am using so uh, the, I mean the as a experiment basis I tried to show ok so this is the my fertigation system here the main tank the A B solution tank as the the motor here so pump that is the pump motor pump so this some of the other varieties so this is my small project so hopefully I will come back again with some other new videos